good afternoon everybody and welcome here to Atlanta Motor Speedway, one of the fastest one and a half mile racetracks on the NASCAR circuit. Fresh off the heels of an exciting night race at Eldora in the Truck Series event, we're getting set here today for the running of the Great Clips 300 to benefit Feed the Children, our fourth race of the season here in Season 8 of the Mobile One Cup Series. This is going to be a really, really exciting race. I can feel it because this track, Atlanta, has always brought about really good finishes here in past NSRA history, and I'm expecting no less here this weekend. Before we get started, though, I want to make a little disclaimer here. A lot of people have asked me why I have all these races so out of sync. Why am I on race four of Mobile and Snickers when I've only just completed race two of the truck series. For those of you that did not watch the update video, there is a schedule change where I have actually condensed down races in all three series with the exception of Snickers Cup. If you would like to see what the official season eight uh, schedule looks like for all four of the series this season, be sure to look down in the description there and head to the official NSRA website's homepage. The complete full schedule is there and that is the schedule we will follow during the course of this entire season. But anyway, time to get our focus here on today's race in at Atlanta with Chris Washer sitting on the pole position. Definitely polar opposites, him starting on the pole position in first today, but he comes in dead last in points as far as the Mobile Cup Series standings are concerned. So Chris Washer, definitely that 88 team's goal was to get him good track position to start this race as Washer will try and come away with a good finish here today, maybe move himself up quite a bit in the point stands. Alongside of him, Justin Talampas. Now, Talampas had some struggles last week at Las Vegas. He ended up getting involved in a wreck when he was up at the front of the field, which was in part to a lap car. However, Talampas comes into this race 12th in overall stands and 4th in rookie points, so he's having quite a good rookie season so far, looking still for his first win of his NSRA career. Lining up in 3rd, Stephen Pollard the 3rd. Now, this team's actually been putting together really good cars as far as qualifying, they just really haven't been able to finish very well. As a matter of fact, Stephen Pollard III started on the pole last week at Las Vegas and got caught up in the very first wreck of the day. Pollard comes into this race 32nd in points, looking to come away with a good finish here today at Atlanta. And alongside of him is going to be the rookie points leader, Dylan Thoreau, by one point over Ricky Falcon in the rookie stands and fourth overall in the point standings. Lines up in the fourth position here today, the second highest starting rookie here today behind fellow rookie Justin Talampas. So it's time to get these cars rolling off. 33 laps of racing await us here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And as these cars will complete their pace lap, we will show you on the top of your screen your starting lineup for today's Great Clips 300 to benefit Feed the Children. Three races so far in Mobile and Cup Series competition. Three different winners. James McLeod going to victory lane at Daytona. Jake Rogers winning at Rockingham UK. And then last week, Dylan Young winning at Las Vegas. Will we have a fourth different Mobile One Cup Series winner by the end of today? You never know. We very well could, though. And the points coming to this race are as follows. Trent Dunham, who ended up winning the Snickers Cup Series race last week at Las Vegas. Well, he had a great run in Mobile as well, which puts him atop the Mobile One Cup Series standings coming into today's event. Three points over James McLeod. Dylan Young's win moves him up to third in points, a total of six points out. Dylan Thoreau is fourth, and Ricky Falcon is fifth. 14 points separate the top five in the standings. Danny Wells is sixth, Levi McIntyre seventh, Josh McCollar eighth, Charles Jackson in ninth, and Joe Davis completes the top ten. Actually, there's a four-way tie for ninth between Jackson Davis, Nick Alton, and Justin Talampas. So that'll be quite a battle between those four during the course of this race. As pace cars ready to peel off in turn four. We're ready to go racing. 33 laps of racing, that is. Chris Washer and Justin Talapas, an all Chevy Camaro front row. Get ready to put us underway. Green flag is out here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Already one car stepping out of line. That's the 12 of Matthew Dalio. As he's going to go three wide there, that sticks Tim Walsh up on the extreme high line. You also see Ricky Falcon getting kicked up the extreme high line back there as well as Nick Smith. As Chris Washer will take the top spot, Stephen Pollard the third now going to move by Talampas. That is for second. And now here comes Joshua Collard and Bob Jones. They are in fourth and fifth right now, and now Talampas will slide into the third position. So now the front three are single file, at least for now. Talampas, though, getting a nice run on Stephen Polar the third, not able to make a move this time by. As Bob Jones, Charles Jackson going underneath of Joshua Collard here. 
That would be for fourth and fifth. Joe Davis right behind them as well now. Battling side by side with Dylan Thoreau. And now he's going to go three wide in the middle. Er, on the inside there, stick Charles Jackson in the middle is what I meant to say. As they continue to battle tooth and nail for that fifth position. Meanwhile, up front, battle for the lead. Stephen Pollard the third was able to get around Tolumpus. Now he's trying to get around Chris Washer for the top position. And he will do so. New leader in the 89, Stephen Pollard the third. Now a battle on for second. That's going away quickly, though, as Talampas is easily going to take that spot coming down here into three. And now Bob Jones looks underneath the pole sitter, Chris Washer. That would be for position number three. Washer battling back hard on the high side there, though, was able to draw back even with second place Justin Talampas. So this battle continues on here between the 88 and the 38, with the 15 of Bob Jones looming right behind. Bob Jones has been kind of a yo-yo season for him so far. Finished dead last at Daytona, came away with a decent finish at Rockingham UK. Wrecked out last week at Las Vegas and now running well here at Atlanta. As now here comes Justin Talampas to the bottom. He'll go for the top position off of Stephen Pollard the third. And now Charles Jackson has come up here into the mix. So too is Joe Davis and Joshua Collard. As everybody got single file, they all reeled each other in. And now we got a nice big pack up here at the front of the field. As three wide for the lead, Bob Jones trying to work that inside line. The middle groove got a nice run through the center of the corner, though, as Talampas will at least for now hold the lead. And Bob Jones will tuck in behind in second. Here comes Charles Jackson to the bottom. He and the car behind him, Joe Davis, they are tied for ninth in the point standing. So this is a battle in points as well as on track. As Jackson's trying to clear Stephen Pollard the third, that would be for the third position. Meanwhile, Bob Jones continues to try and run down a car he's very familiar with. He drove that car last season, that 38 machine. He actually made the Mobile Cup Series chase with that ride. But right now, it is under pilot of Justin Talampas, and Bob Jones is trying to reel him in. Meanwhile, further back, got a good three-way battle going on here. Bob Fergus in this mix, along with Mason Wood and Levi McIntyre. And the pulse sitter, Chris Washer, continues to free fall towards the rear of the field here. As he's now dropped, I believe, now outside of the top ten. They're about to maybe stick him three wide again there with Danny Wells, Andy Timmons, and Matthew Dalio. Meanwhile, up ahead, the 41 of Joe Davis. Battling tooth and nail for fourth position off of Charles Jackson. Not going to get it this time. As a matter of fact, now... Joe Davis has a challenge from Joshua Collard. That would be, I believe, for the sixth position. Collard getting off to a good start this season. He is currently eighth in the point stands and now has taken the fifth position away from Joe Davis. Meanwhile, up here, battle on for the second position. Bob Jones has it. Stephen Pollard III wants it. Not going to be able to make the move quite this time, though as Bob Jones continues to try and set his sights on the 38 of Justin Talampas. So far, clean and green as we are now eight laps through this event, now on to lap nine. Let's find out where some of our front runners in the points are. How about the points leader coming to this race, Trent Dunham. Currently running right behind Jessica Shelton, was 19th last time by, and on the inside line moving by Gene Sanford. So Trent Dunham is making strides towards the front Looking really good right now in that Bass Pro Shop Chevy as that machine now is going to go to work on traffic up ahead, including Carson Gum, Matthew Dalio, Dylan Poteet, and Jessica Shelton in the nine. Let's see where he crosses the stripe this time by. Did he pick up anything? Yeah, he picked up one spot. He's up to 18th place. How about the guy trying to run him down for the points lead? Our Daytona winner, James McLeod. Well, he's all the way back in 42nd place. I don't know if this is strategy or not, but the Pioneer Chevrolet out of Turner Motorsports does not look like he is really getting that aggressive right at the moment, which maybe is not such a bad idea. We still got 24 laps to go, 23 when we hit the stripe. So maybe not some bad strategy here on the part of James McLeod, not really wanting to get up there and get involved in something if a wreck does happen. But right now he is running near the tail end of this field and not just not too far ahead of him is our winner from Las Vegas with the new uh, Chick-fil-A sponsorship, Dylan Young. And Dylan Young right now is scored in the 37th position, so he's not exactly having the best of runs at the current moment either. We know that Dylan Thoreau is running pretty well. How about the guy trying to run him down for the rookie? Points lead! Oh, Sean Gallagher just got turned! He just got flat out spun! And he's going to drive away, but is that a caution flag? 
I just saw his machine spin. I didn't see who spun him, and apparently, no, we are not under caution. Galligan's spin was not enough to warrant a yellow flag, and that car is just now getting up to speed. What a tough break for the driver out of Rusty Wallace Racing, the 64 machine of Sean Galligan, and they are going to come up on him here pretty soon, are the leaders. Man, that is a tough break for Sean Galligan. He was running at the back of the pack anyway, but then got taken out by somebody. I'm still trying to figure out who it was. We may actually, if, if this thing goes still into green, we may not be able to look back at the replay. We may have to rely on our NSRA split cam. There you see the skid marks. It was a solo car incident, and I believe now Galligan has hit the pit road. No, he hasn't. Nope, apparently the damage not too bad on his machine. He's able to continue. This is not good for Galligan. He needs a caution quick. If he can get a caution, he would remain on the tail end of the lead lap, but... He is slightly off the pace because of that damage, and these leaders are going to catch him pretty soon. Talampas the leader, Bob Jones second, Stephen Paul the third in third, and Charles Jackson currently in fourth. These three actually may mix it up here for the second position pretty soon. They've been running nose to tail for a majority of the last few laps, but they could get ready to shake things up a little bit. Another car back here having a pretty decent run. Levi McIntyre in the ninth position, and how about Mason Wood? Had a great run last week at Las Vegas, finished top five, and having another decent run here. Currently in the 10th position, Mason Wood up to the 16th position in the current points. And there is Danny Wells in the five, running in 12th place. Sixth in the points, Danny's having a good run. Now before we had the problem with Sean Galligan, I was going to try and find where Ricky Falcon, second in rookie points, is running. Here he is back here with Caleb Farrell and our winner from uh, Rockingham UK, Jake Rogers. Trying to make his way towards the front here, but the guy he's trying to run down for the uh, rookie points lead, Dylan Thoreau, is running much better up inside the top ten. Trying to see, there is Sean Galligan just ahead of the leader, Bob Jones. He appears to be up to speed, however. I don't really think that car is off the pace particularly. So it may actually be a little bit more difficult for Justin Talampas and these other drivers to get by him. As now, speaking of getting by, Stephen Polar III is going to get by Bob Jones. That's for the second position. As now, Bob, Justin Talampas is going to have the task on his hands of trying to put the 64 lap down. And you can bet Sean Galligan is not going to go quietly. Sean Galligan is going to fight tooth and nail here to stay on the lead lap. As we are now past the halfway point in this race. And... Maybe, just maybe, the thing that could help Galligan could possibly be a cycle of green flag pit stops. I think these drivers are going to have to pit at some point here. Just don't know when. Oh, wow. We got a good battle going on back here for the fifth position. Collard had it, but here comes Joe Davis, Dylan Thoreau, and Bob Fergus. Four-way tussle for a spot inside the top five. Davis is going to take that spot. Now Dylan Thoreau going to try and move underneath. He'll take the sixth position, and now Bob Fergus... Looking for the seventh spot away from the Ritz machine. And now up ahead, Talampas has caught Sean Galligan. Galligan, however, was able to hold him off at least that time. And now Talampas going to try here on the straightaway. He does get to the inside of the Aspen Dental Toyota, but now Galligan going to try hard again. Oh, wait a minute. Is Bob Jones coming to pit row? This may be the cycle of pit stops that we were expecting. And indeed they are. Bob Jones is going to give up the lead to come to pit road. Bob Fergus is also going to come with him. Tim Walsh is in. Silver Fox, Rogers, Falcon, and McCrory all coming to pit road this lap. And that will turn the lead over to Stephen Pollard III in the 89. As now he'll try going to the bottom on Sean Galligan and put him a lap down. But I think now Pollard... Well, I thought maybe he was coming to pit road this time. Yes, he is. As is Sean Galligan. Bob Jones is coming in as well. Charles Jackson. As Joshua Collard's going to stay out an extra lap, so too will Jessica Shelton. Joe Davis is in. Dylan Thoreau is in. Levi McIntyre, Timmons, Wood, Gum, Wells, Washer. I see Poteet back there. I believe Andreas Allen is in. So too is Henley, Caleb Farrell, Trent Dunham, Matthew Dalio. Cassandra Renzi, Jacob Lawler, 
Tristan Folks, Wolfgang Mason, Drew Austin, Pichu London. Jordan Davis is also in, along with Jace McLeod and Nick Alton. So I believe now we will be able to expect the 33 in. Yes, indeed. Here comes Joshua Collard and Jessica Shelton, who both decided to stay out an extra lap there. As you just saw, Justin Talampas and Bob Fergus going on by. They are now getting back onto the lead lap. They now have to come back around again. Whoa, almost some contact there between LJ Mills and Jessica Shelton. And now Collard going to come off pit road here. Let's see, is the 38 coming off of four? Collard trying to roll the dice, stay out an extra lap, get track position, maybe win this thing. And there's Talampas now coming out of four down the front straightaway. Collard's got to get going. I don't think he's going to make it off pit road in time. I think he's going to cycle back over to Justin Talampas in the 38. And that will indeed be the case as now Talampas has bypassed Collard. That is for the lead. Pollard into second. Fergus will move into third now with Charles Jackson, his teammate, in fourth. Fifth is going to be Joshua Collard, sixth Dylan Thoreau, seventh place is going to be Bob Jones, eighth place Jake Rogers, ninth James Silverfox, and Tim Walsh will now complete the top ten. A number of drivers utilizing pit strategy to get him up here inside of the top ten, including James Silverfox and Bob Fergus. So interesting strategies playing out here is right now just Lampas leads the way. I believe that we have one car one lap down, that is Sean Galligan, and apparently we are not going to get a caution, it doesn't seem like it. So we are going to take the opportunity now to take a look at your official NSRA split cam on the bottom right of your screen to see just exactly what happened to Sean Galligan. This did not bring out a caution flag, however, we are still clean and green, we've been green ever since we started this race. Meanwhile, the separation is starting to close up between Justin Talampas and Stephen Pollard the third. I actually thought when I saw Joshua Collard come to pit road and Bob Jones go around, I thought I saw some damage on the left side of the 38. However, that might have been some kind of a glitch because now as I'm looking at it, I am not seeing any damage on the Shell Chevrolet. And so I guess that was actually just some visual glitch that I saw. As Stephen Pollard the third is now not only trying to run down just as Lampus, but he's actually getting run down by Bob Fergus. That would be a battle for the second position. Wow, and Fergus apparently has a really good car because he just really drove it hard into turn four, turns three and four. And here he comes to the inside line. Bob Fergus side by side with Stephen Pollard the third. That is going to be for second place. Meanwhile, right behind him is his teammate Charles Jackson trying to see if he can find somewhere to be able to catch up here, make it a three-man fight for second place, but this all going on behind Justin Talampas. However, even though these guys are battling side by side with each other, they actually are kind of running down Talampas and cutting his lead down. Oh, and the caution's out! Caution flag is waving. This changes everything. All pitch strategy, everything is out the window. Our first caution of the day at Atlanta happens on lap 27 of 33 with seven laps remaining here today. Let's see who was involved. Oh, Danny Wells and Joshua Collard. Two drivers come in top 10 in points on pit road. And they both were running fairly well too. Collard was actually up in the fifth position and he is out of the race. Let's see if anybody else was involved in this. Pichu London's running way here at the back, but I don't know if he was necessarily involved. And I believe Danny Wells has also taken his car back behind the wall. So that's two drivers that came in 6th and 8th in points respectively involved here in an incident late in this race. We might get back to green, I don't know. But what I do know right now is we are under yellow for the first time here today in the Great Clips 300. Let's take a look at a replay of what just happened. So here's a look at what happened. This was, I think, a battle for the 10th position, too. Rookie Ricky Falcon just going to make a rookie mistake. Drives a little hard into the corner, gets into Joshua Collard. And Collard going to get spun up there into the outside retaining wall. Probably very similar to what happened to Sean Galligan. And that incident didn't bring out our caution, but this one did. 
As you're going to see now, his car, Joshua Collis, that is, is going to slide down the banking here. Everybody bails towards the apron to be able to avoid, but the one that's not going to be able to avoid is going to be Danny Wells right here. There you see the hit for the five machine. He's able to hang on to the thing, but still got quite a bit of damage there on the right front. That was enough to send him to the garage area as well. So a two-car incident basically puts us under the caution for the first time here today at Atlanta and sets us up for what's going to be a doozy of a finish. Let's head back there now. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing here. It will be a total of three laps to go when the green waves once again. If the caution comes out at any point during those final three laps, the race will end under caution after the drivers have crossed the stripe. Rookie Justin Talapas in only his fourth start in Mobile One Cup Series competition. Out in front looking for his first career Mobile One Cup Series win. Right behind him is Steven Polar the third. He lines up in second. Third place is Bob Fergus. Charles Jackson lines up fourth. And yet another decent run today for Dylan Thoreau. Currently in the fifth position is the rookie points leader. Bob Jones up in sixth. Seventh, James Sowerfox. His teammate Tim Walsh runs in eighth. Ninth is Jake Rogers and Ricky Falcon after that contact with Joshua Collard now inherits the 10th position. Anthony McCurry runs 11th. 12th is Gene Samper. 13th Carson Gum. 14th Andy Timmons. At 15th place is Joe Davis. Andreas Allen runs 16th. Dylan Pote is 17th. Levi McIntyre 18th. Nick Smith in 19th. And teammate Jessica Shelton lines up in 20th place. Getting ready to go back to green. I believe we only have two drivers out of the race. Joshua Collard and Danny Wells. Sean Galligan is one lap down. So out of the original 42 cars that took the green flag, a total of 39 of them are still on the lead lap. Here we go. Three laps to go. This is do or die time for these drivers. They got a little bit of a little bit of a reprieve here with that caution flag to be able to get up here and battle for position now instead of the field being all spread out after the pit stops. And Fergus going to go right to work. Bypasses second place, Stephen Pollard the third. Now all over the back bumper of the Justin Talapas machine is Bob Fergus. Here comes the 18 and here comes Stephen Pollard the third. Three wide for the lead. Not going to be able to make it work though, but man what a move there by Stephen. Here comes Bob Fergus though. He'll take the point. Talapas now slips back to second, but there's Stephen Pollard the third all over him. Now here comes Bob Jose inside. That's for third place. Two to go here in Atlanta. Bob Fergus trying to pick up his first victory since season four of the Mobile Cup Series. That's the only win he has to his name in Mobile Cup Series competition. And right now, he is scampering away about eight car lengths between himself now. At second place battle, Justin Talapas, Stephen Paul at third, Bob Jones, and Dylan Thoreau. Bob Fergus made the move and now he's getting away from everybody. White flag displayed over the hood of the Turtle Beach Toyota out of Joe Gibbs Racing. Meanwhile, three wide behind him for second. Bob Jones looked way low, almost was to the apron. Not going to be able to make the move this time though as Pollard hangs on to the second place. Now side by side for third between Bob Jones and the ride he drove last season, the 38 of Justin Talapas. But through turns three and four for the final time. Bob Fergus, who comes into this race 30th in the point stands, is going to come down and win the Great Clips 300 to benefit Feed the Children. Atlanta goes to the 18 of Bob Fergus, his second Mobile Cup Series win of his career and first of Season 8. And I don't rightly know if this thing had gone green flag all the way to the end if Bob Fergus may not have won this race because he was actually catching Stephen Pollard the third and Justin Talampas there in the closing stages of that last green flag run. So really a strong machine and he utilized it there on this final shootout to the finish. And Bob Fergus is going to pick up the victory here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. What a great win for that team. Bob Fergus has been a long drought over four seasons since he has been to victory lane in a Mobile One Cup Series race and he finally gets back there here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. What a great race there from start to finish. That was really a good Atlanta race. Usually we have wreck fests, but this was actually a very decent Atlanta Motor Speedway race. So this is definitely going to benefit Bob Ferguson points. As I said, came in 30th in the points, Daniels. We could see him up as high as inside the top 15 in points after today's event. And as well, that locks him up a spot in the all-star race here for the Mobile One Cup Series as well. So Bob Fergus, very decent day for him. As a matter of fact, his teammate Charles Jackson, very decent run too. So Joe Gibbs Racing had a pretty good day here today. 
at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So congratulations to Bob Fergus and that entire 18 team on their first victory of Season 8. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the crew today. Here comes your official full finish results. Overall point stands and rookie points heading into the next week's race. We still have to finish up our Atlanta race weekend here, though, with the running of the Advocare 500, tomorrow's Snickers Cup Series event. You've been watching a production of the NCRA, Offline Racing, at its best. Caution.